Data analytics might not be the path for you. I've been there the whole time. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica. I make videos on career, education, and lifestyle. Today's video is going to be five reasons not to become a data analyst. I know, it sounds like a pretty pessimistic title, but I hope that this video is informative in allowing you to decide if data analytics is the right path for you. I would hate for you to go down a path that might not be right for you when there are plenty of other alternatives that might better suit you. All right, the first thing that I want to mention is someone who is not willing to keep up with new technologies. Now, technology is constantly, constantly, constantly changing. There are new tools being added. The volume of data is growing exponentially, it seems like. There's new trends that emerge in the market. The entire field of data and analytics is going to be constantly shifting and reinventing itself every five to 10 years. Some of the things that we're doing now will definitely be automated in the next five years and over the next decade, the toolkit of a data analyst will probably be pretty different than what we are seeing now. So you need to be able to look at what is emerging in the field and upskill and reskill yourself to be able to stay relevant in the market because otherwise your skills might atrophy over time and may not be as relevant. This might not be right for you if you want to learn a particular skill set that you can use over your entire career. There might be other fields that are better suited for you. The second reason that I want to mention is someone who is not willing to do the grunt work. There is a lot of grunt work. There's a lot of hard work. I don't necessarily mean work that's extremely challenging at times. <laughs> There's always times when things are extremely challenging, but you might have to spend days cleaning a data set and ensuring that it's ready for analysis. And it's not always extremely glamorous when you're doing this work because you have to be willing to clean missing data, you have to be willing to talk to stakeholders, ensuring that some of the data fields are right, there might be a lot of back and forth, um, sometimes the code doesn't run. I mean, there's just, just a lot of grunt work that goes in. And some of this grunt work doesn't always shine at the end, right? So people might not recognize that there was a lot of cleaning involved to even be able to get to the point where you can analyze this data. There is a lot of just hidden work that most people don't recognize needs to happen before you can even get to the point of analyzing the data set. The third part that I want to bring up is if you're not willing to switch tasks quickly and often. So the thing with some of the data analytics projects that a lot of companies is that priorities are constantly shifting. You might get the question of why are customers churning? And then you might start working on it and then get a totally somewhat unrelated question of who are our biggest customers this month, right? This is a very simplified example, but it gives you an idea of the ways that you need to shift your thinking and be able to shift tasks quickly. You might start working on something but never get to finish it. You might start working on something and then be pulled to a completely different direction. You might start working on something and then you have the regular reporting that you need to do. You need to be able to quickly shift and flow what you're doing into what's most relevant for the business. And that must be your priority at the end of the day. So if you're someone that really likes to work on one thing at a time and really go in depth and doesn't really do well with constant change, then this might not be the career path for you. All right, the fifth, actually the fourth, <laughs> maybe I need to take a counting lesson. The fourth reason why data analytics might not be the path for you is if you're not a great communicator. Now, unlike a lot of different technical roles, data analytics actually involves a good amount of communication. You might have to talk to product or finance or sales 
a lot of different areas of the business when you're trying to solve a complex business problem. And so that requires that you are able to have great communication skills or able to connect different points of view. And also, once you do analyze your data, you need to be willing to communicate your insights. Your ability to talk about and showcase your work is as important as the work that you do. Because even if you build the best model, or the best visualization, or the best whatever, if you're not able to communicate to the business on why this is important, and what the main takeaway is, and what the next best action steps are, so be willing to establish relationships with the different people that you work with and continue to communicate why your work matters. All right, the fifth reason why data analytics might not be the right path for you is if you need things to work the first time. A lot of things don't work the first time. Your code will most likely not run the first time. Your data will probably not look the best on the first run that your model might not look the best on the first run. There's a lot of things that you'll have to continue to iterate on and try over and over and over and over and over again to get it to a shape where things are good. And that also means you might build something and then later on have to fix it. It might break. There's, I mean, infinite possibilities of what might happen. So also be posed a question, might work on it, and then people might come back and say, you answered my question, but actually what I was wondering was this, right? So even externally, things might shift. Or you might work on something and then someone might say, hey, I want you to improve it in this and this and this way to solve this need. And then another team might say, hey, I actually want you to do this instead. So oftentimes, anything that you do or build will not often work out the first time and there'll have to be multiple iterations. So at my previous job, I built a dashboard and there was some change in the data that didn't involve me, but then that broke my dashboard, right? And so I had to go back and fix it and rearrange the data connections. So there's a lot of things where things might not work out the first time that you do something and you might need to continue to evolve and shift it to be able to get it working. So there's, it's just never ending in terms of things breaking, things shifting, things changing. And so you need to be able to evolve and understand that things don't always work the first time. I hope that this video didn't totally discourage you from pursuing analytics. Like I said, a lot of these things can be changed with a growth mindset if you're willing to do it. So. It's just really about determining what you're willing to do and what you're not willing to do as opposed to what you naturally have and what you naturally don't because I really truly believe that everything can be learned over time. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't yet, I would really appreciate it if you took a second to hit that subscribe button. I try to engage with the community as much as I can and I reply to every message I get. So if you have a question, please feel free to drop it in the comments below and I'm happy to answer. Thank you so much for watching and supporting me. I, it, it just means the world to me. Catch you in my next video. Bye.